obviously because I was facing more adversity and I was forced to elevate my game up, right? So um, we'll just go off of the, the seated guard pull here, right? And then as soon as I get to this position, right, Alan's gonna step over and he's gonna start knee pinching here. Notice, pant grip, and whether I have the collar, sleeve, cross collar, this side sleeve, this is probably the worst grip that you can have, but any of these are good because they allow me to take his, his weight and off balance it, okay? Notice, from here, he's already starting to push my legs over this way, right? And he's already killed the Delahiva hook. I have no access to a Delahiva hook here. But I do have the pant grip. So let's turn a little bit here. So I do have a pant grip, okay? And I'm gonna hide the palm on the thigh still, okay? From here, when I'm ready to go, notice I'm like locking up here. I'm staying tight on his legs so that he can't just pass my guard easily. But when I'm ready to go, um, especially like say if he's uh, a little bit lower down, like starting to sit back, right? Like this is like the worst. Right? And he's already starting to get ready to break grips and all that stuff. So before any of that happens, like if he's up a little bit more, this is like the perfect opportunity. But even from right here, it can still be done. Right? I'm going to take my foot to the mat and notice I have to shift inside. And I'm going to take this foot and I'm going to put it right into his butt. Okay? I kick. I get him to put his hand to the mat. Foot goes to the hip. Foot goes back to the leg. And then look at where I'm at. I'm right back to the Delahiva and I'm ready to, to uh, engage. Um, typically though, what you guys are going to see is like, there's going to be a lot of opportunities to put to the mat. Oh, shit. Boom, here. And then from here, I have a lot of options to start entering into like a single leg X, or if I can get his foot to the mat, technical stand up, right, and start getting up, sweeping from there, and, and doing a lot of options. Okay, so once I'm here, I pull, I engage, right, and then this is the most important grip, guys. This grip on the pants, and staying tight right here. Uh, the worst case scenario is when you're, he's going to be like sitting back right here and he's like, like you notice how he's weaving this knee through, he's trying to break grips, all these things. Make sure that you're keeping this tight, hiding it from him. And then from here, I want to work my way back to the center. Look, he's already off to the side. Foot goes to the hip. Lift. Foot comes out, right? And obviously this is where I would go and start going into the position. But what I want you guys to do for right now is just go back, Delahiva, and reset, okay? And guys, like, uh, I see it a lot where people were making a mistake right here, and a lot of times it's because they are going to step over the pinch. A lot of times it's because they're trying to kick on the outside of the leg, right? So let's turn to where uh, my foot is. So they're trying to kick like right here, right? And then they're also just like only kicking, right? My foot is going right into the center, okay, for lack of a better word. Okay, right into the center, and then this foot that's on the mat, it's actually going to be working. I'm going to be bridging off of this foot. Oh, right? And I'm trying to get his hands to that. Right? And honestly, like, Gigi did that to me one time. It made me, like, fall right out of my elbow, and then we just got up. Right? And you're going to see that a lot. Like, so once I go here, and I kick, and they get their foot to the mat, you just put the foot here, boom, sit up. Stand up. I'll start working on your, on your sweet game. Pull. Delahiva, he steps over. Look at how I'll kick that, kick him right in his butt, kick him forward, get him, put his hands to the mat. Foot goes back to the hip, back to the leg, back to the Delahiva. Okay. Pull. Delahiva, he steps over. Look, don't let him get, don't let him get set. Right? The deeper or the deeper he gets in a squat, the tighter his knees pinch, the more he can get this knee underneath the more trouble you're gonna be in, right? Like, I can still potentially make it happen from right, right here, but it's not likely, okay? You let him get too far, okay? So get comfortable with, let's just start right here. As soon as he steps over, look at how I put my foot right into the center. This foot goes to the mat, and look at where my hips are, guys. My hips are up off of the mat. If I'm just, let him pinch. If I'm just like kicking here, he's gonna be strong. I need to like bridge, and then I reset. Back to the belly 